Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. My name is Jose Villablanca and I'm a holistic lifestyle coach and personal trainer. Now let's talk about metabolic typing diet. You need to know your type. Now everyone has a different type and it depends on the time of the year as well because uh, when you eat fruits and vegetables and meat, um, it really varies upon the season. Now what is a metabolic type? So there are three types that you can be. You could be a carb type, a protein type, or a mixed type. As you can see here in these diagrams, a carb type is someone who eats about two-thirds carbs. When people say carbs, they always think the bad carbs. But remember, fruits and vegetables are carbs. So you can eat two-thirds of fruits and vegetables. And a third would be the protein source. So that could be meat, that could be proteins from vegetables, um, legumes, and other non-meat type as well if you're vegetarian. A protein type will be half fruits and veggies and half proteins. Or it could be meat and the fruits and veggies can be other types like the starchy stuff, like quinoa, you know, wild rice, and others. And as for the protein type, that means two-thirds of your plate should be protein while the other third should be carbohydrates from fruits and vegetables. Now remember, when I say protein type or mixed type or carb type, you may wonder where the fats are. Now you have the fats usually when there is protein. So take for example a slice of meat. There's always marbling of fat on there. Or if you were to get proteins from nuts and seeds, they usually have fat but there's also proteins in there. So whenever you look at proteins, it's either coming from meat, nuts, and seeds usually. Especially if you're vegetarian and you don't want to eat meat, that's fine. You could just still get your proteins from mostly fats and seeds. So you need to find out what your metabolic type is by doing the metabolic typing questionnaire. And I can send that to you and I'll tell you how to get that in a bit. So to find out your metabolic type, there are different factors that come into play, like finding out your genetic background. For example, an Eskimo in its natural diet would usually eat mostly fats and a little bit of vegetation. That is because there's not a lot of plants, trees, you know, that can grow around ice. So someone with that would be usually a protein type. Now we are still the same people that we were 10,000 years ago because our genetic makeup does not change that fast. So you need to figure out what your genetic background is. As opposed to someone who lives in the tropics, they would have a lot of resources in vegetables and fruits, and here and there, once in a while, they'll get some game meat. Now I'm talking about when we were hunters and gatherers. Now if you also live somewhere where that has four seasons, then there would be seasonal change. So in the summer, there would be more vegetation, there would be more plants growing, so you're going to eat more fruits and vegetables. As opposed to when it's winter, you would usually hunt for meat. So there is that seasonal change. I don't know about you, but for me, whenever summer hits, I would definitely eat a lot of fruits and vegetables because I have that sweet craving, and you can usually get natural sweets from fruits. And in the winter, I like having root vegetables. They're still around in the winter, um, and a lot of meat as well. And this really helps when you find out your metabolic type. You balance yourself nutritionally. So you have more energy. You eat less frequently because it goes through your system nice and slow and it, you don't have that sugar spikes because you're balancing yourself nutritionally. So you would like to test your metabolic type every single month just to see if you have changed nutritionally or chemically. So I'll give you the questionnaire. Just feel free to reach out by emailing me at holisticjose at gmail.com. Follow me as well on Instagram at holisticjose. Join my Facebook page, just search by looking up Holistic Jose, and you can get some free downloads as well on my private Facebook group, again by searching holistichose.com. Thanks for listening, and I hope to see you again soon.